Hey mate! Sell us your jar ball. <laughs> <laughs> feel and look like a drowned rat. Thank God for the salt rock fleece, just trying to warm up a little bit. Thanks again for sending this. But yeah, we're at Clean and Avon. Rain, wind, snow. Very cold, very, very cold. Might get a hot drink on. But yeah, I've barely even packed, a, packed out all the stuff. I've just got my mat down. Just to keep warm. I'll get all this out shortly. I don't even know if you can hear me with all this. Everything, all my wet gear, oh well, my waterproof are, well, the soaked on the external, the inside's dry, like, but wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's probably one of the coldest camps I've been on this. It's freezing. I'm in the sleeping bag. I've got me down slippers on, mats up, foil mats up, hats on. Just trying to warm up a little bit. Whole nut Cadbury's. Make a drink in a minute, I think. Spitting everywhere. Cold. Here's a nice place. I warmed up a bit, the chocolate helped. Took my down coat off, got this on. Because the wind as well, a little tip, if it stops raining and it starts to get windy, dries off your Gore-Tex and your wet stuff, so yeah. Look at it, there's Cal wandering. Yeah, clean an Avon. It's actually a reservoir. I think they started using this in like 1970. Yeah, it's lovely. Gosh. Oh yes. Hot chocolate time first though. Hi. I don't know if you can see this but... <laughs> Unexpected. On the mountain forecast it said like one to two degrees, that was with wind chill. This is beyond that, definitely. But... We can survive, we're experienced and we've got the gear. Fun times, eh? Memories. Class. Now I've warmed up, we may as well crack on to the beers. I usually bring Guinness, but do you know what? I thought, I'm going to go back to my IPAs. First test. First test? First taste. Great job. Cannonball, 7.4%. I think all the ones I've got today are pretty strong. But, um, yeah, thought I'd ask everyone a question. This is my coldest camp, by far. Comment down below what your coldest camp is and where it was, because it might inspire me to go there try it out for myself um uk based obviously for now but yeah comment down below what was your coldest camp how did you deal with it what do i need that you did to make this <laughs> to make this better oh god i can't even blame the beer that was my first week anyway i'm gonna enjoy this can now i'll get some tea on later on
Whiskey and Coke with Cal. No, it's not whiskey. Bourbon. Bourbon. Woodford Reserve. Cheers, Cal. Bosh. What, Cal? How are you feeling? Good. Good. Just, um, a how loud. It's actually mental how loud that is. Right. I'm on my fourth IPA. I've got one left after that. This cow's given me one. What we're doing at the moment is we're waiting for the pasta bolognese real termat to cook. But what I've done is I made a bit of an error. I accidentally uh, messed up the, the seal lock, but it should be fine. And then after that, when I'm watching my Netflix programs, I've got Skittles sesame snaps. This is what I'm on at the moment. A bit of faith, got a bit of that left. And then what Carl didn't like was Northern Monk Outcast. That'll certainly do for me. This light does me no favours. Bosh. Uh, it's been a... Do you know what? We went out for about an hour and a half. The rain stopped and it's been absolutely... What's the word? It's just been nice. As you would have seen in the whiskey clip, I did take this out in the rain, but it started to dry now. So, rookie error, I know, but my uh, Gore-Tex, for some reason, I've got it soaked, and I don't know how. I think I've left it, the inside, exposed to the outside, if that makes sense. But anyway, real term at, past the bolognese. I've got four minutes since I can devour that, and I can't wait. But yeah, once I've had that, I'm going to sit back and I'm going to carry on watching my Netflix series and then uh, I'll probably see you in the morning because there's nothing else to record now and I've had too many of those cans to hold any sort of normal conversation so see you in the morning It's about 6.30 I slept Like a log I think I got down about 10 I've just woke up now at about quarter past 6 What a peaceful, peaceful area You won't be able to see it on the GoPro But I've got a couple of wild horses Just along this ridge bit here Plenty of wild horses in the air uh, Abergwyn Greggin Valley. Yeah, nice, lovely. I don't think Carl's up yet, but top morning. There's nothing like putting wet gear on in the morning. But it has to be done. So we're leaving, no trace. As always, Carl's done. Carl made all these molehills. <laughs> but yeah, see you next time.